Hey guys, it's been a month. Uh, lots happened. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but I'm coming back. Uh, hopefully for the rest of the week, unless more stuff goes wrong. But as of right now, I have a week's plan of videos that I do plan on doing. <laughs> um, if you want to get caught up on what happened while I was gone for the last month, Get on your phone, go to my channel, go to community tab, and I pretty much talk about a little bit throughout there. Um, over the last several posts, I've talked about it, so if you want to get caught up, go there, look at them. Uh, yeah, best thing I'm going to do is just not talk about it because I want to get into the video, so yeah. <laughs> if you want to know why I was going for last month, go look at those posts. But let's get into the video. So, uh, on the... 28th of January, which is two days ago, put on this corning, Friday, um, roughly Friday night, we learned that Grant Gustin, who plays Barry Allen The Flash on The Flash, <laughs> is signing on for five season nine. He is reportedly capping his appearances at 15 episodes, with his salary being over $200,000 per episode. Which would equal out to be three million dollars just in that one season alone for Grant. Um, there was reportedly a multi-year offer on the table, but Grant decided to take the one year instead. Um, and I'll be talking about that in a minute. Um, now there's always speculation going around that season nine is the last season. While it's not confirmed, and I'm not gonna. My opinion is that it won't be the last season. I think the show can easily go to season 10, maybe even 11 if it really wanted to. If it really wanted to go above that, we wouldn't need really good villains. <laughs> but it could easily go to season 10 and 11 in my opinion. But the reason why people are saying season 9 is the last season is for a couple reasons. The first one being Grant not taking the multi-year offer. That doesn't mean crap. <laughs> and people can't seem to get that in their heads. Um, Grant took a one year before season eight. This isn't the first time he's done that. He has a kid now, if he didn't, somehow didn't know that. <laughs> um, and, you know, he's doing it year by year in case something happens. And he can't be on the show. He's not going to get in trouble for it. Um, because taking the multi-year is a big risk for actors. Starting off the show for the first five, six years, that's a good thing to do, like what Grant did. But taking a one-year, like, with this, with the show with this many seasons, like eight or nine or even ten, hell, even seven for some shows, you need to take it year by year and not, oh, five years from now, I'm still going to be on the show. No, you need to do it year by year. Grant's not the only one who's done this. Hundreds of actors have done this. It's nothing new. And it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so if your reason behind season 9 being the last season is that, drop it. <laughs> um, another reason people were saying was because he'll be in 15 episodes. And people were saying this season's going to be 15 episodes. We don't know the season count. We don't even know season 8's episode count. I, I don't think it was ever confirmed. Um, I'm assuming season 8's going to be 18 episodes, like it was for season 7. But we don't actually know. But season 9, it says Grant's going to be in 15. Which, if it is 18, it would leave 3 episodes for Grant to not be in. Which would more than likely be interlude part 2 or part 3, if, assuming we don't get interlude part 2 this season. Which I'm really hoping we don't. <laughs> Unless the 806 is interlude part 2. And they're going to say 807 is a part of it. I don't know what they're going to do. But that would be a good time to do, you know, something along the lines without Grant. Whether it's connecting to a side story or a main story. Bringing in new characters, I guess, if they wanted to in that late in the show. I mean, that's... You know, it doesn't mean the season's going to be 15 episodes long. And then there was this one guy that said that the season's being less the first time ever. 
Season 5 had 22 episodes. Season 6 had even less because of COVID. Season 7 has 18, and 8, I, I'm assuming it's 18. We, again, like I said, we don't actually know. So, I'm assuming Season 9 will be 18. If it is 15, who the hell cares? <laughs> um, I would assume there will be a crossover, and I would assume there will be two story arcs and no breaks in between, which would be good. Concerning season 8, we're probably going to have a break between... Because we're having two storylines now. And in this season, over the next, what, uh, 13 episodes? So, yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I think 15 is a good number if they just want to do two story arcs, maybe a small crossover with the other shows, great. <laughs> I think that's a good way to do it. If they want to do 18 and have Grant in 15 to 18, they can do that too. Um, I don't see how it would work if this was the Flash's final season. Um, because like with Arrow, he was in 9 of the 10 episodes in his final season. The one he wasn't in was 809 because they were sending a backdoor pilot for the new show, Grenier on the Canaries. Which obviously didn't happen because CW sucks, but... <laughs> Um, you know, I, and then he appeared in the finale, but having three episodes, assuming the season would be 18 episodes, like it, it's a normality now, um, I don't see Grant not being in three episodes of his own final season, which is what leads me to believe season 10 is going to be last season, if they do a season 10, and they lead it to that. I would assume Grant will want to be in most of the episodes for his final season, not missing out on three. Again, I'm thinking maybe it's in a row, but it could be spread out, obviously. It doesn't have to be in a row, but I don't know. I, I don't see season nine being the last season, especially with the newspaper article, if they're going to bring that back, you know, which everyone's been wanting. So if the show wanted to be in fan service, go to season 10. I'm not saying the fan service is a bad thing, but you gotta do it right for the show. Um, am I glad they're getting season 9? Yes. Do I want season 10? Yes. It depends on who comes in. <laughs> um, we've been asking... I've been... I don't know about all of us, but I've been asking for Red Death for the past couple of years. Because I really want to see that. I want to see who it is and how they're going to play it off as a Flash villain, because obviously he's a Flash villain, he's a speedster, he can't be on Batman or whatever. So, I don't see them bringing in Gosby and Nate anymore. I don't see it. I If it is going to be Cobalt Blue, great. <sighs> you know? But I was really hoping Red Death, I don't know if it will be. I would hope it is, but I don't know. <sighs> um... Because Eric Wallace, and I was thinking about this interview earlier today, um, said that in 601, it was set to be Red Death. But the CGI for Red Death was over CW's budget. They would have wasted the whole season's budget on 601 for that one scene. So, could you imagine what it'd be like for half a season? <laughs> I mean, I... I mean, then again, people thought CGI and Armageddon was crap. I didn't really think it was, but people are nitpicking everything, so pfft. I don't think it mattered what the show did, but the fact that it was too much CGI for Red Death for their budget, that it, it wouldn't work, I think it's going to say something when he does show up and the plans they've been planning for him for the past couple of years. Because I was just trying to think for the past couple of years. You know, they've been thinking about Red Death a lot. So, when he comes in, I think it's going to be an amazing story backing it up. Godspeed... I wasn't expecting the Godspeed arc to do well in the first place. Ever since he came in Season 5, I knew he would be a big bad in one season. I didn't think it would be... <clears throat> sorry, I didn't think it would be good at all. I knew it would be bad. <laughs> And I was kind of right. <laughs> so, I mean, there was some good good scenes throughout those four parts. But, 
yeah, <laughs> it wasn't the best. But, I, you know, like I keep saying, if season 9 is going to be last season, and it is 15 episodes, or 16, I don't see them, A, not doing a backdoor pilot, and B, not bring in, not bringing back Thawne. Because they need Thawne for the final season. <laughs> I mean, we just got Thawne in the crossover. That was very well played out, by the way. And, I mean, he got a new suit. We got it for two episodes. One was with Grant. One was with Tom. Really? <laughs> They're not making a new suit just for two episodes. They're not. At that kind of level of suits? No. <laughs> if it was a crappy suit... Uh, yeah, they would do it, but this is, Dawn's new suit is not crappy, it's a pretty damn good suit, so, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't see them not bringing back Thawne for the final season, if it's season 9, it will probably be in the back half, assuming they're still going to do two story arcs, and, again, if it was the final season, Grant, or Eric Wallace, or someone on the show, I would assume it more like it'd be Grant, would come out, come out and say, this is the final season, you know, and talk about it like Steven did during uh, season six when he found out, or season seven, I think it was, when we found out season eight was going to be last season of Arrow, Steven came out and told us, I think like a week or two before season seven's finale, or a couple of weeks after he came out and said season is gonna be the last. Actually, I think it was before season seven finale, which is what made it so more emotional for everyone because we knew before. But I don't see Grant not telling us that's the final season. And he would know. It, he made a deal for it. If if it was the last season, he knows right now. And I don't see Grant not telling us that. So I'm not saying it's 100% confirmed, but, you know, <laughs> it's it seems to me very unlikely that this is the last season. Season 9 is not going to be the last season. Season 10, if or when it gets announced that it's going to happen, like a year or two, well, not a year or two, like roughly a year from now, we'll be right back here saying season 10 is happening. Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, I would not be saying I'm confident it'll be the last, or it wouldn't be the last season. I think season 10 would be a good number to end at, especially with the 10 year anniversary in October. I mean, I mean, there would be in season 9 then, but you know, ending it off on season 10. An Arrowverse show with not that high of a budget. <laughs> I mean, that would set the like landmark for Superman and Lois, Stargirl, uh, Justice U, if that show happens. Um, you know, all the good Arrowverse shows. Like I said, Superman and Lois, Stargirl, Justice U, if it happens. I mean, you know, Batman Legends, they're not making it this season. <laughs> you know, they're not going to get anywhere close to Flash. But I'm surprised Legends even not seen that one, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say this right now because I, I want to say it. Um, I don't do Legends content because I hate the show. And I preferred Flash Season 7 over the last three seasons of Legends, which is saying a lot. So I, I, <laughs> this, I think the show should have been canceled three seasons ago and we should have had a new show come in. Replacing that. Being like Green on the Canaries or something. It would have been better. <sighs> but getting back to The Flash. um, You know, Flash could set a real landmark here for Simon Lois and other good shows. To show that it can get to a season 10 and not just season 8, season 9, that's it, you're done. No. Flash can, is setting the landmark right now. It's the longest running ever show. Or it will be next year. And we're coming up on 10 year anniversary. I mean. You know. 
And I was thinking about season nine because I was really looking at the newspaper article for um, that was in the time vault. I don't know if it was the updated version or what, but there was something in the article that hit me, which was during Barry and Thawne's fight, the Green Arrow showed up along with the Adam and Hawk Girl. Obviously, Hawk Girl won't be showing up if this ever does happen because she's not a thing anymore. Or at least in the office, I'm pretty sure, unless that all changed because of crisis, who the hell knows. But the Green Arrow is showing up. That could mean Mia in this point in time. But really? <laughs> no. It, at the point, if season 9 is the last season, right? It would be a 10 year Arrowversary. 10 years of the Arrowverse. 10 years since the Arrow pilot aired. We've had the Arrowverse, right? Two, arrow, two anniversary at the same time, it would be great. They're, they have to do some kind of crossover for it. They have to bring back Steven for it. For me, as a fan, if we don't get Steven back for some special kind of stupid episode, I don't care what show it's on, if we don't get Steven back for the 10-year anniversary, I'm going to be pissed. I'm legitimately going to be so ticked off if they don't bring Steven back for this. But, and it better be on Flash just saying, because <laughs> we need more Barry and Oliver scenes, because I want more. <laughs> I missed it. We've gone two years, two years since the Arrow series finale aired. And we've gone two years without any Oliver or Barry scenes. Which is kind of annoying, because I was kind of hoping they would do like some flashback or something to Oliver and Barry. Like a conversation leading to Barry solving how to stop a criminal or something. Like, that would be nice. Show writers. If you're watching, you're not watching this. <laughs> you don't watch any videos. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. I, again, it's really up to the show. It's up to Grant. This is the, The Flash is one of the best shows for the CW. The ratings skyrocketed during Armageddon. It carried the CW for the last several years. I mean, you know, if you really look at it, CW doesn't want the show to be done. It wants to keep going. So, I think that's what we really need to be looking at. It's up to Grant and Eric Wallace. Can they keep going? Can they keep making stories good? It's up to them. So, yeah. Um... And people were saying because the CW deal or whatever, whatever it was about, I don't, I didn't follow up on. It, I'm not going to talk about it much. That wouldn't cancel the Flash. <laughs> if anything, it would keep it going with a much higher budget. Th that's all I know, and that's all I'm going to speak about. So yeah. If you enjoyed the video, like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. First video back of the year in the last month. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Hope to see you guys next time. I don't know when I'm uploading. Hopefully Monday night or Tuesday night. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Stay safe. Have yeah, have a good day. Have a good night. Bye guys.